Abrams here, welcome back to my channel. One common, qu common question that I get asked um, is whether DNA testing is the same as allergy testing. So I just wanted to answer that question in this video. So really, allergy testing um, is uh, done nowadays commercially uh, and, and in the um, lab setting, um, clinical lab setting. Um, usually the lab testing, uh, which tests for IgE antibodies, uh, which has to do with your immune system, um, that really looks at uh, the levels of the amount of antibodies uh, in relation to a, a suspect food. So high amount of antibodies in your blood means that you are probably uh, most likely uh, have an allergy um, or suspected allergy to that particular food. Now, there are various levels of um, accuracy with the amount of testing that is available. So if you do want to get tested, uh, if you are allergic, you have to get uh, to uh, be tested and referred by, by your GP. Um, the other uh, allergy testing kind of uh, in the market uh, test for uh, Ig. G, um, looking at uh, DNA testing, however, DNA testing looks at which genetic variations you've inherited. So that's looking at your DNA, not your immune system. So your DNA doesn't change over time. Your genetic variations are the ones that you've inherited from your mother and your father. Um, so uh, it a variation isn't necessarily a bad thing it just means that uh, you are a product um, of your parents and therefore you will have inherited particular genetic variations so it's completely different looking at completely two different systems um, and therefore uh, it shouldn't be confused at all okay i hope that clarified the question for you uh, please do subscribe to my channel for more information on nutritional genomics and personalized nutrition and you can also subscribe to my weekly newsletter um, and all the links will be down in the description box below i'll see you in the next video Bye bye